What's really happening in African agriculture? Really a lot. Um, markets are really growing for almost everything, and supply of almost everything is in short is short is in short supply. At the same time as we have large amounts of the land available, and farmers who aren't using all of their farms. All these things mix into a lot of opportunity that not everyone is able to take advantage of. You do have people intensifying their production of cereals and horticultural products and livestock products. You do have businesses and farmers running into a capital constraint. No one has enough money to do all the investments that they'd like to do in order to respond to the market in the way they can. So you have farmers who need more land or need a new machine for irrigation or need to hold their stock for a while or buy more inputs. You have traders who need to finance their stock, get better access to transport equipment, uh, better storage facilities in towns, contracts with larger buyers and supermarkets who can't finance it. So there really is a capital constraint holding back African agriculture. I think some of the important things to do are, in terms of what public policy and private investment can do, make more resources available, financial resources, for people to invest in these businesses. Because farming is a business as well as the agribusinesses are businesses. I think that's what's really going on. There's a huge opportunity, there's a shortage of funding, and we have to find new ways of getting money into funding businesses in Africa.